time. Not correct every single time. It pisses me off it. It's resetting to the wrong one. Come on. There we go. Now it should be correct. Awesome. Well, hopefully the update is out on the ESO server status. All online. Space is telling me definitely. Okay. Probably gonna just finish this quest first. I just plug the cave? Or did I plug the ex two of the exits? Because there's only one way out. Oh. Itself. Hey, get me out of here. You don't look like these. I knew Ina wouldn't give up on me. What I ever do to deserve her? These skinny weaklings are setting up explosives farther in the cave. I hurt my arm or else I'd help. 
I can make my way out of here by myself, but you have to stop them. Thanks. I won't forget. Bypass guards, I'm gonna. In the rocks of paint. Stumble back, stumble back, but now I'm not. This is in the full rotation. Seems to be all of them for now. It's good to see you, my friend. 
I feared the worst when the Reachmen started pouring out of the cave. Since you're here and the bridge is still... Excellent! Hopefully after all this trouble we can convince an intricate plot by... They better. No. Everyone all right? Did we lose it? I gotta visit the yeah. No ruins from that. <laughs> Thank you. 
something. Why? I'm too in town. Drop off the signs. Back out. Is the storm over? Are we safe? And did you see how much damage the tower? As you fill the museum with the clues,
Okay. Oh, no problem. Cool. I got all the mastery signs. Except provisioning. I don't know if there is one though. Anyway. Well, let's see. Let's go back to the quests. Are you going to have tab mock? Those two decide to play nice with each other and join me. Jarl Morin. Rigert has a new aid. We can talk with the Thanes now. <sighs> the talks aren't happening, Rigert. Those fools refuse to set aside their inane feud. Gods, I need a drink. Let's talk, friend. I'm sorry. But Jarl Morin has asked not something to do with a new life feast they attended at Carthwatch a few seats. Which one do you want to? They call him Flint Pastor in the taverns because he, well, acts like the kind of man that passes Flint every time he uses the privy. Uh. Stern, humorless, can't stand anything that might embarrass him. Oh, and he loves fish. Dane Swine loves melees almost as much as he loves his meals. He's incredibly strong and has an appetite to match. I saw him eat a whole cockerel pie straight. Jarl Morin wants Rigard's help to get the Thanes to put aside their silly feud so they can negotiate. It's just like the Skull King always says. Why is he looking around as if he's Rigard at the heart of a problem? I hope it's because no one's he's listening. So good at fixing them. Rigard does not know. Every little thing rankles these western beard pullers. My cheese is too round. Mine is not round enough. Rigard, get your hands out of the cheese. Still, Rigard is sure we will solve them. Rigard knows only what Jarl Morin told. Thank you. Rigard has this under control. Of 
closer one first. The Skull King's got some persistent sods working for him. If you're here to ask me to meet with Jarl Morin and that milk drinker Heraldi, then kindly clear up. Kind's breath. I'm about to keel over from hunger, and that's all you can think to ask me? I am a thane of Western Skyrim, not some molly coddled poet from Joran's boudoir. Now be gone. Every time I've been invited to Jarl Morin's cabin, she's prepared a traditional feast for me. This time, I fasted all week just to prepare. But I didn't expect that. I swore that the next meal I ate would be a Nordic feast. Ha! Thane Heraldi no... Rigard knew from the moment he saw Thane Swine's belly, this is a Nord that acts with his gut, not his head. Rigard is much the same. Only he looks worse with his shirt off. But if a Nordic feast... Our portly friend wants a fine Nordic meal, yes? Then Rigert will make him the mouth-watering friend. Rigert spreads the joy of Nordic cuisine across all of them. Rigert's friend Farthor, a butcher from Greenshave, is wintering in Dragonbridge. His meat is divine. And we can season it with orcish howl water. Rigert knows Magrok in more. Have you forgotten that Rigert is Windhelm's most accomplished cultural ambassador? Rigert samples meat from. Rigert doesn't exactly remember. <laughs> so he must have had too much to drink and forgotten what it was like. To the same first, the close up. Other scene, I should say. Yeah. This dude is the hard ass. Already told Jarl Morin. If Thane Swine attends this meeting, I will not. Let me finish the right of the way. Praying to catch fish, eh? Brigger just uses a net. Friend, see if you can convince Thane Heraldi to talk to us. By the way, this frost deal is insufferable. How am I supposed to make my offerings while he babbles about meeting with Jarl Morin? If you're also... I'm afraid it's impossible. I had my doubts about meeting a delegate from Windhelm in the first place. Thaneswine being here only confirms that my skepticism was warranted. He is an obscene bore, and I will not speak with him. No, my friend, there is nothing. Thane Heraldi will not move until this fish is caught. So if we catch it, he will have to go to Rigert's meeting. That is absolutely not what I said. Friend, meet Rigert at Chillwind Depths. He has a plan to catch this slippery horker's daughter. Turner. Whoa, hold on there, stranger. Yeah, I don't know all the details. Just heard a loud rump. Depends on who you at. Chief Urzik's smart. She's strong. Those Greg run. You're here for my howl water. 
Absolutely not! I've seen what a spirit like Hollowwater can do in the hands of a Nord like Rigert. My Fine. For Rothgar's sake. But you only get a bottle. With a whole cask, Rigert might just burn down the countryside. I'm still surprised at how many people crave my howl water. I've never been able to... You trying to steal my formula or something? Ha! <laughs> I'll never tell. Jesus, my snap there on my water. Do I even dare hope you have another supplier? Or shall I savor this drink? I thought I might do A watch sausage never dries, so my father said. I suppose talking to some stranger is as worth one. Rigger, the, the oafish Nord ambassador is here. Of course he is. Just when things seem to be going smoothly, he shows up. If Rigert needs meat, well, I guess even the boar has good taste. The only thing... Perhaps. I came to Skyrim to try Kiviak, made by real giants. It's a delicacy. There's a giant camp nearby, but we don't have anything else to discuss, right? Base sketch on its back. Oh shit. I, mean, I got the tension of both of them back, isn't it? The fact that it was buried, do I even want to know what the hell it is? Well now, huh. I didn't actually think you'd get it. I'm surprised. I hope the crows have soured enough. Otherwise, it's liable to kill someone. In any event, you help me, so I'll help you. You expect me to let you put a whole boar carcass in your bag and have the meat bruise while you traipse across the countryside? <laughs> no, no. Why shouldn't I? It's what. Do I even dare hope you have another supplier? Or shall I savor this drink? I thought I might be.
Richmond in here. Can't remember which one. Rigard is glad to see you, friend. Rigard has long haired Tain. Rigard said we'd catch Tain her all this silly. Rigard may be a poor wrangler, but he is still the best ambassador in all of Tamriel. A mushroom with a silly Argonian name. Too many sounds for poor Rigard's tongue. But, yes, Rigard remembers. Rigged was following me. Oh yeah, sweet wall I can pick up. Nope. Ugh, that's it. Rigard remembers that stink. He will take it back to Thane Hraldi at once. There's a lot of, a lot of other pests that even saw me.
Tell me that your bounties are not forgotten in these greedy times. Friend, you are just... Oh! <laughs> it is as strong as Rigert remembers. Good! Rigert used his contacts at Solitude. Rigert must focus on tending the fire. In the meantime, you should make sure the roast boar is perfect. Smells too bland. Spice the meat, friend. Ah. No, that's not right. We should start over. Smell no, that's not right. We should start over. Smells too bland. Spice the meat, friend. Uh, the meat's getting too dry. Use the howl water. The meat's tougher than a mud crab shell. Let's soften it up. The meat's drying out again. Give it another splash. Soften it up again, friend. Ah! Sure, bollocks, man. Do you mean to drive me mad with that scent? Pain swine. <laughs> Rigor prepared an exquisite dish to cure your grumpiness. Mm. This... This is sodding wonderful. Uh, but there's a taste I can't place. That's Rigor's secretest ingredient. Powdered Hagraven squeezings. Oh. Oh, no. We did it, friend. He's overcome with bliss. Let's ask him if he's... Yes. Damn you and that idiot. Feeding me powdered Hagraven squeezings. Are you trying to kill me? And yet... I, I cannot lie. I do. But no one can know. Hagravens are filthy, revolting beasts. If anyone hears that I eat... Damn you. Both of you. Fine. I'll forget the feud with Heraldi and go to this meeting. But I have two conditions. First, you can tell no one about what I ate here today. Second, make sure Heraldi gets his arsenal. Of course I am. Rice. What gross. You're back. Good. Finally. Why don't you stink? How is that going to help you catch old Hyo's daughter? Just watch, Thane Heraldi. Wait. Where's your fishing rod? Rod! <laughs> Spirit! That way! It's all yours, daughter! This is the part of fishing where we run after the fish, yes? Let's go, friend!
don't understand. Old Hyod's daughter is a hawker. <sighs> For years, I gave prayers and offerings to the animal spirits that my family has honored for generations, expecting their blessing in return. How can I refuse? You and your infuriate. You taught me that my feud with Thane's sign doesn't matter. Nothing matters. A life of prayer and worship can come to... I'll venture to Jarl Morin's cabin shortly. I believe I need to be here. I plan to set her loose. Seeing her here, staring into her fathomless... I heard what you did, I see you. Go on inside. There's more mead where this came from. Jarl Morin is in good spirits. See if she's ready to meet with the Thanes when Rigger cleans up. Well, well. Rigor the Brush is surprisingly comely friend. I don't have any unopened bottles left, but you could probably fill a flagon if you're willing to mix it. Wait! You mean they're coming here to talk about... Then I need my scribes. I need my advisors. I need my chef to prepare the victory. Good morning. Rigert, am I early? Uh, not at all. Rigert and his assistant just need to finalize. Rigert knows diplomacy is not the smoothest road, but this one was all. Rigert is ready at things. I don't think my being here means I've forgotten the New Life Festival. Okay. I go help that orc. Okay. Yeah. Kruzik, Chief, we can't risk huh? letting those monsters out. Think about the rest of the clan. Monsters? We're orcs, those Greg. I'm not about to tuck tail while our kin fight for their lives. Is that Harry Fane? This isn't your business, stranger. Moloch's jawbone. How did you even get in here? Ugh, it doesn't matter. I've got this insubordinate worm to deal with. An accident. Or at least, I hope it was an accident. Either way, what I need right now is for Overseer Tholsgreg to follow orders and talk some sense into his full wife, Mazog. She hid the key to the mines, and I aim to know where. When the mine collapsed, strange creatures from below stormed the tunnels. Mazog locked the door to the mine to keep them contained. But by doing that, she trapped a handful of survivors inside. Try if you want. 
But know this. I'll do what I have to to get that key. The clan won't like it. They're frustrated as it is. But as good luck making him see... If you're here to convince me to turn over the key, save your breath. Of course I am. Those orcs are my kin, same as Urzik. But we have to face facts. They're probably dead. Chief Urzik thinks she can solve... <sighs> she uses potions that dissolve stone. It makes mining quicker work, sure, but it's not our way, and it's dangerous. I'd bet in a storeroom beneath the longhouse. Now listen, I don't want you trying to break her out. Neither. Fair warning. That obvious, huh? For years, my family ruled the stronghold. When my father passed, the role changed. We abandoned our people's cruder customs long ago. People marry who they wish, for instance. But the traditions we kept are sacred. We honor the code. Tradition sustained. No, maybe. Truth is, she challenged me in combat and I lost. But only... It's not just me. Most of the clan... Yes and no. Must be outside. If you're here to get me to tell you where the key to the mine is, you're out of luck. Unlike our chief, I care about... Does it matter now? If Chief Urzik gets... There's something about the way you hold yourself. I hid it on top of the watchtower. The fate of this clan is in your hands. Did you recover the key? Good. I don't know how you convinced her, but I don't care. Now we can get inside and rescue my people. Maybe we'll even get lucky and find out how this tragedy occurred in the first place. No surprise there. The fact is, my stone melt solution is completely safe. Mazog has never liked my methods or my leadership. She worries like an elf three times her age. No. No. She's insubordinate. Fretful. But she'd never put her kin in danger. Sabotage. Let's go. Survivors, where's Foreman Muga? I haven't seen Muga since the cave in chief. The rest are in hiding. The mines are completely overrun. All right, search the tunnels. Let's find the others. Alma, I'm gonna 
upon a dwarven ruin. Regardless of what they did. We've been waiting for relief for hours. You know I'd help fight the monsters off if not for this damned leg. Doesn't matter. She keeps leaning on us to find new veins of ore, but it's nearly dry. We can't produce what doesn't exist. That damn stone melt solution was supposed to speed up the mine expansion, but it went crazy. Now we. Moloch. I thought I would die down here, just wondering if they could bury the hatchet long enough to get us out of this. That business between them is going to come to an slit-faced goblin thing or a giant bug. Good news for me, eh? It's because it's not her fault. Her expectations for mine output are reasonable, generous even. But some of Thaldgreg's cronies are never satisfied. I don't know. This is rumor, you know? The idea is that a stronger potion could cut through more stone, lighten the work a bit. But Chief Urzek's recipe is very specific. If someone... That's true, then... Fucking hell. Steel and stone, am I glad to see you. I thought we were done for. Listen, there are still miners that need help. They're trapped behind a tunnel collapse down below. It's at the entrance to a new dig site. A good one. Plenty of ore in there. I don't know what caused the cave -in. I just heard... Never get to them in time at this rate. We need to dissolve the stone. Open your eyes, Urzik. It's too unstable. We can't risk a larger collapse. Yeah. Thules Greg mules like a dog while our kin fight for their lives. Attacking the stone with pick and spade is looks like these damn creatures scattered the ingredients all over the place. I'm not about to send these miners back into harm's way. So how about it? Mixing the three reagents together creates a potent alchemical solvent. It's perfectly safe, but it does work quickly, so be prepared to move. Just follow my... We'll lose precious time, so don't make a mistake. Don't fret, all right? The instructions are simple. That's why I'm having you prepare it instead of... Just like anything else, in battle. I served the Covenant for a while, and I met a sapper who could collapse castle walls with potions. Made me uncomfortable at first. It did. But not everything used in war is fundamentally destructive. 
Mm. I can just get my clan to understand the value of it. Keep at it. No one stops digging until we break through. Two parts snow bear bile, boiled, dried shock resin ground. Perfect. Now pour the solution onto the rocks blocking the entrance. Shovels and pickaxes compete with that gold, Greg. Even a blind edgeter finds a pumpkin once in a while. It was luck and nothing more. Cheat.
Moloch's jawbone. What happened in here? No time to mull it over. If anyone knows, it'll be Muga. He was probably on the scaffolding managing the evacuation. Head up there and look for him. I've never seen anything like this. That fissure. Did the storm? He's tough as an Orsinium anvil. He survived. Make sure you find out what he knows about all this. I no telling what's going on. He didn't like the formula, I fucked with the formula and, and he fucked up blame the formula. Just um, the fact that he tweaked shit and he wasn't supposed to. Finally, a friendly face. I knew Chief Urzik wouldn't just sit around and let us down. Wish I could tell you. Mazog, Narzba, and Blograth were getting ready to bore out a new path with the stone mount. Mazog came running back a few minutes. I don't know. I've been a foreman long enough to know when hope's lost. But here I am hoping. I think they made it to the scaffold. Everyone made it out except for the three down here. Any luck finding them? What? No. There has to be some mistake. Mazog would never hurt them. You see? Chief Urzik is just as much to blame. She should have explained this alchemy properly. She should have... We'll have to fight through those creatures again.
See, person, we don't need to do this in public. I need to know. Everyone needs to know what happened down there, Thul's Greg. This clan has suffered enough resentful whispers and bad Please, blood. just listen. She'll suffer the blood price. It's how we punish our own. Rather than imprison them or make them unfit to work, we extract the tusks of those who fail the clan. Uh, she'll take pleasure in it. Unless you... The clan survives. Damn it! I suspected as much, but I really hoped I was wrong. She's given me no choice. Ah! Of course Thul's Greg blames me. He always blames me. I brought this clan, this family, back from the brink. I gave us a second chance. I... I put... Punishing Mazog will set an example, and it's what the clan expects. We follow the code for a reason. But showing mercy might set us up. You make a good point. I have a good feeling about the... Rebuild. Mm. That will take time. You're right. We will. But part of being an orc is starting with less. Tough. Hear your chief. Mazog made a foolish mistake. But there has been enough bloodshed today. Thank you, Chief Urzik. Thank you! As chief, I shoulder the blame as well. We orcs are slow to forgive, but we will forgive. No. Dragon Man Brothers, can't remember their four. Else. I'm so glad to see you. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. I feel like I should have gone with you, but I probably... How exciting! I can't believe I get to examine these... Well, the glyphs here are definitely Marithic era, with Nord inclusions that have... Sorry, I'll skip all that. These symbols resemble those on dragon cult tablets. I think they're charms that speed up the release of the dragons from their mounds. Well, something like that. It happened in elsewhere, didn't <laughs> it? Now that I have these, there's one final mound to investigate. I have to physically right. go there this time. Would you still be willing to help me? I'm not sure I can do this alone. There's a dragon mound farther down the road. A big one. When I first entertained this theory, I made a warding spell. One that should seal whatever's inside permanently. It's difficult to cast, however. I need someone to watch my back. I wasn't sure about this last part. I needed the rubbings to know. Sure? No. But it was... It certainly happened in elsewhere, didn't it? 
Everyone thought dragons were gone for good, and now the giant lizards are burning them. You were? Then you saw what they did. Is it so... This wouldn't be Alduin's man, would it? It's the thing, how did Alduin wake? Well, I've made it this far with no catastrophes. Oh, right, of course. You're the one who knows what to do. I brought my dagger in case there are giant... Huh. Wonderful. So those tales about being dragged into caves and devoured by frostbite spiders are just <laughs> stories to make... Lead on to the mound. Sensing any strange energy. We need to go to the center of the mound. That's the best place for my spell. Here we go. Oh, I'll be so annoyed if she wakes it up. I think it worked. No rumblings, no explosions. So let's hurry. I don't want to linger here. Here we are. Entire oh, thank you for your help. I had no idea field work was so in- Oh? Really? I'm very new, our latest member. I only joined recently. Anyway, this is wonderful. Well, not exactly. Gabrielle made her skepticism quite clear. Is she always that blunt? She told me I could get- No! I mean, I don't think so. I took the initiative to deal with something that could be a big threat. That counts for something, right? Is the storm over? Are we safe? 
and You're here. Don't worry, I have your pay. I'm just finishing. Not really. My whole theory depends on the idea that a dragon buried in that mound could conceivably rise from the dead. We know necromancers can rape. No. I researched thoroughly to make it unbreakable, but I just don't know if it worked. I expected some kind of reaction. You're right. I've always been self conscious about my idea. Now, I need to get up the nerve. Oh, wait, we're not. Thank you for all your. If I know Gabrielle, and then I go... Oh. I'll add more of the... quests from the re- um... You call it not region from the um fine. What's the, what do I need to do at the giant camps? Fine, just explore them or kill the giant. Oh, I'm going to grab the piece. It's just in quest. Easy. Hey, I am not gonna do that for all of them. Having great lifts, that's fine. And I've got lightless hollow, dark moon grotto. I did what she hired me to do. If you're headed up that way, watch out for the crazy eye. Her name's Talene. She hired. Don't know. infuriates me so much I could incinerate him with a fire summoning then dump his ashes into a resurrection pot just so I could do it again I'm 
You heard right. Vigo reached 73 years old last month, but still thinks he can adventure like he's 20. Vigo's dog and favorite adventuring companion. I trust him to keep Vigo safe most days, but he's getting up in age too. Ha, I should have never married a Nord. <laughs> Always with the heroics. Thank you. Vigo may be an old fool, but he's my old fool. And God damn it, I don't know what I'd do without him. It's been abandoned for besides being a Zuma. It might as so well. What is it? Lightless Hollow is a dangerous place to wander, friend. Hmm, yes, and that's putting it kindly if the rumors are true. I've heard them called a number of different things. Bo, you ran into Teline, did you? A good woman. But the older I get, the more she worries. I'll admit I'm not as young as I used to be. Lovely. Pickle and I are glad to have you, right, boy? Ah, I think he's found an odor of interest. He's quite... Got something pickle? Ah, lead on. The... Like flower? Oh no, that's a shroom beetle. A dead, dead shroom beetle. Selma blade. A blade made of chitin. Oh. Aside from the fact that no one uses them? <laughs> At least no one that I've ever heard of. Harvesting chitin tough enough to use as a weapon is much more complicated than simple forging. It's possible these bogles are intelligent enough to do something other than... Pickle seems to be onto something. You search the camp while I see what he's on to. Did you find something? Must have been terrible. I can't imagine being stuck down here, afraid that something is lying in wait in the darkness. Was there anything else? Perhaps they still live. Maybe we're not too late after all. That gives us... Wait for us, boy! Well, look at that. I suppose we found our dwarven ruins. Ah, this chasm is no obstacle. I'll simply use this. The fuck did he get one of those? Ah, sorry. I got ahead of myself. Not to worry. Pickle will help you find another way round. Hold on. Um. Really?
Oh good. I'm trying to get away from one of them. All of them. I, I mean, try to get I'm away from them. I should get both of them. I'm going to pause three. Oh, what's wrong about that being three? You're not one of those things. I, I was. We were down here to reopen this place after it got abandoned, but we got attacked by these... They were pale and sickly looking, hunched over like old hags with sharp teeth. I'm getting up. You made it! Not that I had any doubt. Pickle's sense of direction is unparalleled. Couldn't ask for a finer adventuring companion. Then we must mount a rescue! How thrilling! I couldn't have asked for a better send-off. I'll scout an escape route for us to ensure that we have a way out. You track down the miners. Excellent! Keep... I'm not sure that's really pork.
fine. Please get us out of here. We had to watch as those hideous creatures killed our friends. Oh, that must have been Skeg. Thank you. Lead on. Well, I was going the wrong way. Excellent. The passage beyond this door is the most direct route back to the camp. I've a bit of experience with dwarven mechanisms, actually. There's a trick to releasing them from the ledge above the door. My grappling device should... When I give the word... Fire. Not mean to summon that guy.
made it. But wait. Where is my husband? Where's Vigo? He what? How could you let him do that? How could you leave him behind? He could have... I suppose you're right. Don't plan the funeral just yet, love. Vigo, is it really you? Who else? Ah, what a finale that was. Huh? Sorry if I gave you a bit of a scare. That escape? Bah! I drove them off, killed as many as I could. But I had to run when I got the opportunity. It's not exactly a comfort to know the myth. Not sure I really want to know. Anyway, thanks for looking after. I use now. I my friend. Oops, this is the hollow. Hey, thanks for the follow. How the hell do I go up to that bloody crystal? Thanks for the offer, but no thanks. How do I get up there?
Oh, hello. You there? Are you seeking refuge from the affliction? You don't know? Some kind of disease has spread throughout Alchemist Razir. The affliction. My pack. They got about when we escaped. Okay. Okay. Stay calm, everyone. You will find Alchemist Razir. What if he's already dead? The affliction will catch us too. It's only a matter of time. Are you fleeing from the affliction as well? Yes, it's horrible. The afflicted are compelled to transform and then become violent. Almost feral. We were close to finding a cure, but our alchemist, Razira, went missing. I fear something terrible may have happened. I'm not sure, but it's not like alchemist Razira not to report back. My partner, Skior, ran off to find him. I worry for him too. I want to search for them, but it's unwise to travel alone. I need an ally. Our non-werewolf allies barricaded themselves within the grotto. I need to speak with them and see if anyone might have seen where Razira was last headed. I don't think they'll be eager to speak to me, but perhaps you can get them to talk. Don't judge them too harshly. They're just afraid. We know very little about the disease. Our allies are afraid that we could turn on them at any moment. It's a valid concern. We left not as much as I... It varies. Soon after our... Skior can... Not as much as I'd like. It varies. Don't judge them. Okay. Yeah.
don't know if that was me or the PC. believes a violent werewolves were the result of an infection, one that he could cure. He went out in search of one final ingredient to test for his latest recipe, and never returned. No, but I know he took his notes with him when he left. Perhaps if you look good, I hope he's all right. He's a brave man. Almost as soon as we heard Rasir was missing, Skor was asking after him. I told him the same thing I told you. We haven't seen him since. He looked exhausted. Those must be those dangerous things. Let's keep looking up the ridge. There's a fire up by those ruins. Maybe a Nazir set up camp there. More journal pages. Quickly, let's see if we can find another. That looks like it might be the last. No sign of Razir himself. That's comforting. Impossible to say. We need to get to the camp. It's funny. I'm not told. Oh, that's thick video. remember much just the rage when i woke from it razir stood over me he was ex he ran skewered Actually, the song I got. Ah, wrong way.
you're not sick. The Tranya sent you. There is a cure for the affliction. I hid a few vials before I went to test it. He succumbed to the affliction. His mind is gone. There is nothing there but rage. I don't know. I, I just ran, uh, hoping that I would lose him before I lost too much blood. He's still out there somewhere. Please, thank you. Once I thought I had a suitable mixture for the cure, I knew I needed to test it. During my search, yes, I felt hopeful for the first time. Razir, you're alive. Thank the gods. You found Razir. Good. Once we have the cure, we can... Hitting me, I'm fucking stuck in here. Okay, then.
sworn. So confused where that fastball came from now. Yeah?
here. Skjord found us. They must have gone through. I'll be fine. Go ran through here, chasing after Rasia. A cure. Thank you, Strange. He's a trust. Dude, he's big. Not a werewolf, that was a man wolf. That was Yelch. Score, my friend. There was no way I'll survive. See you in one piece, friend. I thought this must. I will mourn. The cure will take time to spread, but once it starts, my people need me. The blow of Escapees to our blood. Nice.
The rest are all the eat the cheese or final lift. So in that case what we do on the next DLC. Grey Host Horizons. I don't have actually. Interesting. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the bloody prologue quest location.
Right. The one that's exhausted. Apparently. The one that, on that little diagram that I've been following, it's not on there, which is weird. an instrument or two or three actually I think it was two or three it's two I see us walking the streets of solitude what's our hold coming to quiet you Princess Svara and her allies saved us all one of them Saving Skyrim wasn't enough for you. Had to sign on for even more heroics. It's good to see you. I could use your help. You know better than anyone what we're dealing with. We need to... You know the Raven Watch deals with threats all the time. Trouble is, there's never been a threat consisting of a reborn army of vampires and werewolves from the First Era. We know that one of the original ruling members of the Grey Host is rebuilding their army, gathering vampires and werewolves to their banner. And we know they're experimenting with life and... Everything I learned up to now points in the same direction. My research has uncovered pieces, but I hope the scholars... Are... My research indicates a council ruled the Grey Host. One of those leaders fell out of favor and another survived the final battle. Are there any noble with... In the ancient past, the Grey Host sought to use life energy to draw... Probably, but nothing that... For the moment. There are an awful lot of evil conspiracies afoot in Tamriel, and not nearly enough Ravenwatch members to investigate them all. But no idea. They're spread out. Adusa, for example, mentioned something about necromancers raising bone giants and elsewhere. But she probably... I'm hoping a scholar of ancient Bankerai battles named Lorette Deal or one of her colleagues can tell us more about the Grey. The priests have this old holy text that claims St. Pelin leapt off the garrison's walls, landed among the host, asked Stendar for endless blood, and then fed them all without dying. Then the garrison dropped some rocks on them. See? Exactly.
Well, this isn't at all what I expected. What happened here? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you here for a tour? I'm afraid they've all been suspended until this mess with the Imperial Army is resolved. If I could offer a suggestion... As you can plainly see, now is not a good time. My fellow scholars and I fled when Septima Tharn and her Daedra-worshipping zealots attacked. We barely got out before the first impacts from their ballisti shook the walls. You did? Why didn't any of the knights report this? No one tells scholars anything. Well, if that's true, and I see no reason you'd offer such an audacious lie, then thank you. Septima Tharn is mad. Had we stayed, she would have fed us to her Daedra. I'm sorry. Concern for my colleagues and the Pyrewatch warrior who accompanied them has my thoughts in a jumble. Uh, come to think of it, the Pyrewatch are experts on the Grey Host. Find my friends, and I'm sure the warrior will answer you. Their guardians sworn to watch over a Grey Host burial site located here in Bankarai. One of their warriors was here recruiting when the garrison came under attack. She went to protect my colleagues, but no one's returned. Can you go find them? Hogleen and Indus fled in the direction of Evermore with the Pyrewatch warrior, while Jannard headed toward Kerbal's Hollow. Please be careful. The wilderness can be treacherous between here and there. Even if my mind wasn't clouded with worry, I'm an expert on the Second Era. My First Era knowledge is extremely limited. The Pyrewatch knows more about the Great. Thank you, friend. Hmm. This scholar's research doesn't go back to the First Era. And the other scholars fled? That puts a wrinkle in our plans, all right. This Pyre Watch warrior is a promising... I heard. Let's split up and go after them. All take Kerbal's Hollow. You head toward Evermore. Yeah, my brother Fenorian told me about one he encountered. They're the guardians of an ancient mass grave where the remains of the Grey Host are said to be interred. Probably knows more than the scholars. Find, Find the scholars, but try not to get eaten by anything. While I am in my menu, You there. Come. You don't look like a refugee. Are you a soldier from the garrison? What news of the Imperial... Oh, that's wonderful news. Cogleen and I intended to head straight for Evermore. But the cursed Imperials caught up with us. They would have captured us if not for that Pyre Watch Warrior. She was. But we ran into Imperials. The Pyre Watch Warrior distracted the soldiers and ordered me to flee. Then she took Cogleen and headed west. Please, find them. I worry for their safety. I will go to Scarlet Deal's camp now. They are most fortunate. Other than the fact that they were defeated here, I will return to Scaladiel's camp. May Tall Papa guide your steps. You're the first thing I've seen that isn't an undead monstrosity. Oh, lovely. Uh, are you with the garrison? Oh, thanks, Dandar. I thought I could make it to Evermore, but I... when the Imperials came after us... 
I'll hurry back to Scholar Deal's camp. Be safe. I am gonna leave it there for tonight. Ah, oh, sorry, Goose Barnacle, I'm about to hop off. I'm doing okay, how are you? That's good. Um, yeah, sorry. So, I'm gonna be on tomorrow night again. Well, at least I should be on tomorrow night. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you wanna check out the Twitch stream live, and uh, the link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash ninety six. 96 Yeah, so, should be on tomorrow night. Till then. See you later.